Uh, good morning to you, uh, to all my friends, uh, business associates, and the audience, uh, wherever you are in South Africa, around the world. Uh, thanks for joining me live. And if you uh, can't join me live, uh, this, this is recorded uh, so that you can watch it later. And this goes live on LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, and uh, Facebook. Uh, so I just want to quickly share my experience of uh, my frozen uh, business account uh, with FMB. And uh, I, I thought that uh, I just want to share the, my experience and story so that uh, it might benefit other people and you can see what kind of impact it may have. And uh, if you come across this kind of issue in South Africa dealing with, uh, with a bank, uh, how do you go about resolving it? Uh, so FMB, uh, for those of you that don't, uh, are not aware of the environment in South Africa, uh, FMB is one of the big four banks, or maybe now we say big five banks, uh, because now Capitec is also one becoming one of the mainstream banks. Uh, but uh, FMB, they, they do uh, personal banking and the business banking. They're quite uh, big in South Africa uh, with millions of customers and, uh, and uh, millions of business accounts uh, with them. Um, and uh, so I have been a loyal FNB customer for many years since my student days. I opened an FNB Bob uh, account, a student account with a Bob card. Uh, I think that if any of you has been um, in the uh, early 90s, uh, you will have remember that uh, Bob card, which was very popular. And uh, so uh, through my working career and then about um, uh, 2006, when I opened my business, uh, then, then I have the business uh, bank account. I've been with FNB. So uh, my home loans, everything has been with FNB and uh, it has served me well. Um, but uh, this uh, recent experience has been rather a bit harrowing, uh, but uh, made us a bit nervous. And, and uh, so, so what happened is that, um, uh, uh, you know, in South Africa, I think any, any uh, advanced country or, or um, uh, well-regulated country in the world that uh, you, you have the regulation in terms of uh, financial intelligence, uh, know your customer KYC. So on the 16th of April last month, that uh, there was an email from uh, FNB sent to me and uh, about uh, confirmation of FICA information. It stands for Financial Intelligence Center Act information, essentially to re-identify or identify the clients about certain information, address and uh, telephone number, et cetera. So um, on the 19th of April, my wife, who is my uh, trusted uh, financial manager, she's a charter accountant by profession, and she's been managing our finances uh, for many years, and uh, and uh, she's done a great job in, in that. And then she brought to my attention about that that uh, email, and asked me to complete the document. So I, I check. Uh, there's an attachment. There's an attached document, uh, which is us, uh, which uh, sets out all our business. Uh, information uh, in terms of the uh, contact detail, uh, email address, telephone number, address, etc., and a li and line of business. And uh, I, I went through that document and I was uh, just checking one by one, and uh, I saw some uh, information is being out uh, out of date. Uh, for example, address was the old uh, business address. The telephone number also has changed. And uh, also the, the type of business was not correct. So I was going through the document, uh, every section one by one and across out a few places and uh, I made correction next to it. Then uh, I, I, uh, I sent it back to my wife and then she returned it to FNB. So that was on the 19th of April. So that's um, more than a month ago. And then since then there was being email reminder from FNB uh, about uh, the uh, about this uh, the, uh, document they require, uh, so we didn't pay notice, uh, the pay attention to that. We thought that we have sent, uh, we have done our duty, and until like last week, uh, all of a sudden on the uh, on last Wednesday, uh, there was the 18th, 18th of May. So uh, a month later, uh, we got a, a notification a SMS actually to say that the business account has been frozen, and uh, actually I have it on my phone, which my my wife uh, forwarded to me, it says that the FNB, due to your FICA information, not confirmed on online banking, your debris uh, uh, account, 
uh, number uh, is frozen uh, to help you unfreeze your account, please contact us on this number, uh, FNB, etc. All right, so so what happened uh, that then, then my wife got uh, uh, come on to action and uh, to try to deal with it, uh, but uh, the FNB uh, agent insisted to speak to me because I'm the uh, the member of the company and uh, they wanted to speak to me to verify. Uh, so she handed this back to me. So I, from last Thursday, I was uh, onto this issue and then I was phoning the number on Friday uh, to try to deal with it. Uh, this, this number 0877362247. And uh, yeah, I, um, on, on Friday when I called, um, yeah, it was first, uh, was uh, the kind of a, uh, FICA department and uh, sent me to to the, the business banking department and then, then finally to the, the business uh, KYC department or remedial action department. So I was transferred from pillar to post, <laughs> transferred from the various departments. Uh, eventually, I spoke to someone who seemed to be able to help me and uh, she promised me that uh, she's escalating this and uh, they're, they're, what the, the problem was that uh, they, they managed to find the, the document and they, they could link to the account. So I don't know what's happening behind the scene with FNB about the business process, uh, about the automation, et cetera, or whether someone is manning the, the email uh, uh, and the inbox and uh, to deal with all these issues. Because if you can think about any of you in business, then, then uh, having a, a valid a business uh, bank account uh, to be able to receive money, to pay bills, uh, to pay salaries, that's critical, you know? So, so and uh, now it's, uh, we, we normally pay the, the, the bills, uh, the salaries on the 25th of the month, so, which is tomorrow. So it's uh, really making us uh, stressed and uh, nervous, uh, you know, like uh, with all these deadlines coming up uh, for the payments and the bills and the taxes that you need to pay as a business. Uh, so, so I was onto this on a Friday morning, and I was promised that this by Monday it will be sorted out. Monday, yesterday, I log in to check, and it was still not, not, uh, um, not working yet. Uh, and and uh, still, uh, there was a, a page on FMB website, uh, which is under I, I think it's a business solutions about compliance update and things like that. It still says that in progress. So and. Um, and it's, 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 a, it's a problem with FNB website. So, so the, the, the consultant my, my wife spoke to and the consultant when I phoned and they spoke to, uh, they, they took us to the same uh, page and where uh, next to the line where it's supposed to be updating certain things uh, ourselves, there should be a button to continue or things like that, but it was non-existent. So it speaks to about the problem with FNB uh, website, even though they, they try to, uh, automate and uh, make everything uh, uh, work on the website, but there's certain things uh, not working and actually uh, 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 failed us in this instance. So if anyone uh, from FNB listening from the business banking, please uh, just uh, fix your, your, your system so that it actually works for your clients because it's quite frustrating, uh, not able to do anything. And uh, so, so we, we called on uh, uh, those people and uh, even yesterday, I called again and uh, spoke to someone uh, in the in the remedial action uh, department, and uh, she assured me that she escalated, and uh, so the normal turnaround time is 24 to 48 hours. Uh, yeah, was uh, really it's, uh, I was hitting the the kind of a wall, uh, couldn't uh, progress with anything. Even yesterday evening, I checked still uh, no progress. And I, I tried to call, uh, not, not successful. And uh, um, uh, thank you. Uh, and uh, and uh, eventually, um, and, uh, I was my, my wife and I, we were agonizing about it last night. And, uh, and even this morning, we were talking about what are we going to do? And then she managed to find uh, this uh, business banker that uh, made contact with us uh, last year. So she wrote that uh, business banker an, an email. Uh, sorry, I can't remember the name. And, uh, but uh, he was very good. Uh, he responded very quickly and said that he's going to sort this out. And the next thing is he's advised that uh, uh, I'd rather go to the, the branch uh, with the necessary documents uh, to, to resolve this issue. So, uh, uh, so this is what I did this morning uh, before, before this, uh, this session. I went to FNB Four Ways at uh, just after nine o'clock uh, with my my document ready that uh, that uh, confirmation of FICA in, in, uh, information 
document I printed out uh, with my ID and I also asked my wife to send me the, the business registration document, uh, the seeker document, as well as the proof of address, which is required uh, for ver FICA verification. Uh, so I was there and uh, I must say that uh, the, the, at the branch, FMB branch, the, the experience was, uh, so was uh, very uh, pleasant. Uh, Someone at the at the door uh, were welcoming me and uh, asked me what the query is about and they remind me about the documents I needed to have and uh, and gave me the ticket and then then, then uh, before I even sat down uh, then there was the system called me uh, ticket number ten uh, to counter two and uh, this uh, I'm, uh, and then I met uh, no uh, no no uh, what's 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 the name no no cool leku. Leko, okay, uh, Kumalo, and uh, I must uh, shout out to her and I uh, give her praise. Uh, she was uh, she was calm. Uh, she she asked me what's the issue and asked me for the necessary document and she asked me questions. Uh, even though she, uh, I was a bit uh, it, agitated uh, and uh, I just wanted to to deal with this matter, but uh, she kept asking the the questions to understand my problem, whether it's just business or is also my personal account. And once she ascertains my business account and then she asks for the proof of address and the CK document, which I then forwarded uh, to her. And because I didn't know how to spell her name, uh, so she actually typed on my phone. And then so I forwarded to her and then she, uh, she, she was uh, just uh, very efficient uh, dealing uh, on, on, the, on her iPad, on the, on the computer. And, uh, and um, before I knew it, uh, everything was sorted. So like I would say about in 15 minutes, uh, Nakula Leko, uh, she, uh, uh, she really was on top of her again. She know her stuff and then she resolved my issue. And then, then she said, now it's fine working. And then I, I just wanted to make sure. So I asked my wife just to log in to FMB uh, account and just to check. And then, then she told me now she could do transfer. So oh, uh, uh, so so big big thumbs up and the praise to to the consultant that helped me and FMB uh, four ways branch, and uh, finally it was resolved and uh, it's a huge sigh of relief for me. Um, but uh, I, I think I think the the lesson here is that um, uh, you know like when when your bank uh, asks you for the FICA document uh, to respond. And uh, if need be, I think rather go to the branch. So even now nowadays, all the banks they are geared to to online servicing, and uh, and uh, the, you can try to you can do lots of things uh, without going to the branch. But uh, I, I found that uh, especially with the mission critical thing about the fee card verification, whether it's uh, especially for business, I found that the best way is actually go to a branch where it's sorted out in fifteen minutes instead of me calling and uh, sending email, my wife did the same and, uh, and then we spent hours, okay? And I was spending on the phone and explaining the, the same issue three times to three different people in three different departments. No answer, no progress. <laughs> and uh, and it really, it's uh, very frustrating, but, uh, but this is kind of a thing that you actually need to go to the branch, uh, speak to a, a physical a human being and uh, and the consultant well trained, and uh, she was able to uh, sort it out, no problem. So uh, I just want to share my experience with you. If you are with FNB, uh, if you uh, do receive that uh, FICA uh, document, uh, yeah, send it back. But uh, see what what's what's transpired. If you keep getting reminder, I think the best thing is that uh, take your your ID, your your company registration document, your proof of address. Uh, and and uh, uh, go to the go to the news branch, and uh, just ask them to check everything and verify everything for you, so that you are not going to suffer the same fate as me, like uh, where you were told that uh, your business account frozen. That's the worst thing that can happen uh, to any business business owner, where you can't do anything. You know, you feel so powerless. You could have money in the bank account, but uh, you can't touch it. You can't pay people. You can't pay your staff salaries. Oh, that's that's something I don't want to experience again. Um, I hope other banks are also listening and uh, just uh, can can gear up to to service your clients. Uh, you know, we all understand that KYC FICA is important, but uh, yeah, I think uh, what even though we are trying to automate the the business process, but please just have that human touch and. Uh, 
human intervention where it's mission critical so that don't don't just uh, disappoint your clients or or let your your business client feel kind of a powerless or helpless don't know where to turn and i think that uh, if you can do that uh, you can retain your clients but uh, at the end of the day i'm very glad that uh, this issue has been resolved and uh, we are able to to make payment um, and that tomorrow uh, being able to pay salaries thank goodness and thank god um, yeah and and uh, if you have you had a similar experience uh, on your your business account or your personal account where you had to do your KYC, your FICA, and then maybe the bank comes to you once every three years or so and asks you to, to verify everything. What's your experience? Was it pleasant? Was it easy? Uh, did you uh, do everything online and you just upload a document? Or did you actually have to um, you know, um, uh, find a very frustrating experience um, that like me, you know, uh, welcome to, to share with me. And, uh, and yeah, and I, I just uh, want to acknowledge uh, Peter uh, for, uh, for, for your message here. I just want to show, thanks Peter for, for joining me here. He just said that uh, for sharing, it's important to call out uh, FNB for failing to address the failures in the, the process and serious impact. Uh, uh, it can have on business. So, so Peter, thanks very much for that uh, message. Uh, yes, it's very true. You know, I, I think that all the banks, uh, even the, the latest one, the Discovery Bank, uh, they, 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 they pride themselves with branchless banking. But I, I think it's so easy for people hiding behind that call center number or hiding behind the screen. And, uh, and or maybe I, I assume some of the, you, uh, the, the, the people working from home, and it's, it's easy to say, oh, yeah, you know, I have escalated to someone, you know, they will be dealing with it. The technician will be dealing with it. Uh, someone in, in some department will be dealing with it. It's, it's kind of a very blank uh, message. And, uh, and uh, you're not, you, don't, you, don't, you can't speak to a, a real human being. That's, that's really frustrating. And uh, eventually, thank goodness, uh, because of the business banker, uh, which also the, the problem is with FMB that they change a the business, the, the, my 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 personal bank or business banker uh, from time to time. So I don't, I can't even keep remember who is my business banker. So that kind of a problem. And, but uh, fortunately that business banker was quite quick and point to me the right way. I mean, if FMB have, you know, uh, given the, the alternatives in the SMS or message to say that uh, this is uh, what we like you to do, you can do this online or uh, you can go to the, the branch to sort the things out. Yeah, I think if FNB has been clear in terms of the alternatives, the options that's available, then at least I as a business owner, they know, okay, this is what I can do to sort it out. Uh, instead of like, if, you know, like keeping bumping, the, the going through the same process and uh, it looks like, you know, you're, you're just going from, from, from uh, this department, that department, and, uh, and actually no one is owning the issue and uh, sorting out for you. Yeah, that that's very frustrating. Um, okay, so so I, I just have uh, uh, someone um, uh, in I think it's uh, Imran. Um, yeah, uh, uh, Imran. Uh, uh, thanks for for sharing here. Uh, it's uh, he just shared that FNB has my account frozen for three years, and transferred money from my business account in in Lloyd's London to my business account in uh, in in FNB South Africa. What doesn't make sense? is am the sender and receiver. I almost went out of business to, to this date, my account. Okay, so uh, I, I, can't, uh, I can't see the rest of the message. Uh, but again, uh, this is, uh, this is the, uh, I'm glad that there are people who have been there and uh, who suffer the same uh, uh, problem and uh, frustration. And uh, this is really, I think FNB, if you're there and all the other banks out there, if you're doing business with business, owners and the businesses you know please uh, listen listen to us uh, listen to the your clients and uh, about how to to really uh, uh, provide excellent service i mean where you can automate where you you have checked your 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 process and verify and uh, uh, pilot testing and the test run and you are happy that uh, the process online is is foolproof then then by all means you know do it online but do offer the solution do offer the various channels uh, to to sort out uh, your the, the the problems, especially for business owners. Uh, we are here. 
uh, small business, uh, large business. Uh, we're here to try to uh, grow the grow the the, the economy, uh, serve our clients, customers, and uh, and uh, and uh, you know provide for for people that we employ. And uh, we we really need the, the 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 banks out there to listen to the business owners and then really provide the tools. Okay, uh, online banking that's uh, I, I know that's uh, being the the trend. And we all are using online banking a lot. I also check the, the online banking from time to time. But my wife assists me a lot as a financial manager. So she manages all these uh, receipts and payments and all that and, and uh, bring anything uh, that, that warrants my attention uh, to me. Uh, but but uh, I think that, uh, you know, like, uh, please, um, uh, we need uh, human beings. Uh, we are not uh, machines. We are not robots. We want uh, to have uh, real humans to talk to us uh, who are well-trained and uh, who understand the problem, who is able to resolve problems, okay? And not rather uh, compounding the problem or uh, not giving us the, the alternative where we know uh, can help us to resolve the issue. So my experience this morning at FNB branch was really pleasant. Uh, a consultant, uh, she helped me to sort out this, uh, this problem that I, I've been struggling with for a few days and agonizing and stressing. Uh, and as she sorted out in 15 minutes, okay, but FNB didn't in its SMS or uh, email tell me this is the alternative. I mean, come on, you know, like I'm your customer, you at least you can tell me the alternative so that I know uh, what's available out there instead of uh, just trying to call and uh, I'm going through the, the call center and uh, going through various people who not sure what they they're doing or or cannot really help me to resolve the issue. All right, so so FNB, I hope that you are listening and uh, please please pro improve your process, improve that uh, the human interaction part where it's mission critical, and uh, so that uh, you are able to continue to keep me as a happy client, and uh, and uh, I I hope that uh, we can continue with this relationship for many years to come. Uh, but uh, thanks very much for everyone who who listened to to this uh, the, this this uh, session. And uh, I just like to wish you all well. And I, I wish that you have an excellent, uh, successful uh, banking experience. Uh, don't don't be like me. I hope that uh, you you don't ever have to get into this kind of issue of uh, getting your account, whether it's your business uh, bank account or personal bank account, frozen. Uh, being good standing with the bank, but uh, the banks, please also do your part to make sure that the process is easy for your clients and uh, and uh, have that with a human uh, interface. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Uh, until next.